Hello YouTube, so this is uh, the uh, this is going to be the third episode or the third part of the Hades Omega Suron tapered roller bearing installation upgrade video. Man, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a mouthful. <laughs> anyway, um, so the last episode we disassembled the whole front end on my Suron Light B MX here and uh, so it's all disassembled now and then we removed the old headset bearings, everything, everything's out of the bike now. So. So now we can start installing the uh, the, the beefier headset. Um, so that that's what this episode is going to be about. This episode is going to be um, preparing the the headset bearings for installation, and then we're going to install them on the bike, and then we're going to reassemble the bike. So and that, that the, the second and third part pretty much they go together. So hopefully we can get it done today. So we're we're about like an hour on the timer. So uh, so yeah. We're already double the time that, that, that Luna said that you could, uh, you could do this. <laughs> so I'd imagine it's probably going to take another hour or two to get the bike back together. Um, so yeah, so this is the old headset right here. Um, and we're probably going to use... Pro I probably might wind up reusing some of the parts. I know we got to reuse this spacer part here. Um, this We didn't get a new uh, washer like this, so we'll probably reuse this. I don't even know if we need to. It fits in a little cup. I think we can reuse this plastic piece, but we'll use the brand new one. Um, we also got a, a brand new version of this, so maybe we'll reuse we'll use a new one. And uh, I think that's it. That's all the parts that we can reuse. Everything else has, is a specific to the new uh, headset. So, all right. So we got the first step is uh, we got to prepare the bearings for installation. So let's go. Let's go and do that. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so here we are. Uh, this is where we'll be uh, preparing the bearings. Um, for this, uh, you're gonna obviously you're gonna need the bearings and the the, the headset. Basically, um, you'll notice that the uh, the outer race is not here because they're inside my freezer right now. So I'm gonna go freeze it for about like 20 minutes while we kind of work on some other. Oh yeah, you know what we can do is we can re we can pack the bearings. Um, that's what we'll do first. Uh, so, so what you can do to help, I don't know how, how easily those will go in. They kind of have to be pressed in. I don't know how tight this is going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the oven. I have a little, um, yeah, I have a tiny little oven, electric oven. I'm just going to put this in there. No, I don't think it'll, I don't think it'll make any weird fumes or anything. It looks okay. So, so I'm going to put this in the oven for about like 15 minutes. So, so the um, the the races, the parts that go in here, are uh, are in the freezer, in my freezer right now. So I'm freezing them. Um, that way, it, that way it'll it. So what we're doing is we're shrinking. We're trying to shrink the uh, the races, so they'll just slip right in there. Um, so we don't have any problem trying to get it in. I don't have like a little driver tool to get it in. Um, yeah, I kind of don't. The, the question is, how are you going to get it out, too? When we get it in there, we'll take a look at it. So, uh, But anyway, so this is the top and the bottom cups that the uh, um, that the uh, the races are pressed into. So the first step would be to press them in here. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the oven, like I mentioned, and then we're going to and then we're going to freeze the races. So so that way that makes this one expand and it makes the other one shrink so it'll just slip right in and then we'll probably put, we'll put some grease in there too so to help it okay right. so uh here we are uh, so we're gonna go prep the bearings to be installed uh what we're gonna do right now is pack the bearings with grease so um when you get them they're pretty dry there's no grease on them there's no grease at them at all it's, it's dry don't put them in like that <laughs> you want to put some grease the reason we put greases in is so there's a lubrication and so it, it's kind of like it seals the bearing it protects it from dirt and dirt and water and stuff so you're gonna want to you're gonna want to pack these with grease so 
So just go get your uh, the bearing part portion, the inner and the and where all the bearings are are situated in the cage, and you go get those out. And then make sure go get yourself some grease. I got this Valvoline automotive grease that I've been trying to get rid of for years. Um, these these bottles last a long time, so I've trying to been trying to get rid of it. Uh, pretty much any automotive grease will work, um, preferably something that's like water resistant or waterproof. Um, I think this will be fine. This is what I use for all my bearings. So, um, so what you're going to want to do, and so so this is a part that get where it starts to get real messy. So make sure you got something. You know, you can get wear gloves <laughs> um, and have like a rag handy to wipe out the. It's clean grease, so you know it's not it's not really dirty or anything. So, uh, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go pack the bearing, and I'm gonna kind of show you it real quick, and then I'm just gonna speed it up. So um, there's like kind of two ways you can do this. You can get a big glob and stick it on your hand, and then like you know just try to dab it at a time. Dab, um, like just kind of force it in there. Or you can, or you can get a little piece at a time, and and then just like try to force it in there yourself. So um, I think we're gonna go with the, uh, you know, what? I do I do this one more often, but let's try this. I know that works too. I know they have like special tools and stuff to do this also. But all right, so what you're gonna want to do is take the grease and just dab at it like that. Let's see, it's kind of disappearing, and then kind of rotate it every once in a while, and then uh, and then we're gonna have to get rid of all this excess at some point. In the Sauron video, uh, they weren't they didn't really do this. They kind of just slathered it with a little bit of grease, and then they stuck it in there. And that's not how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to pack this with grease. Do it right the first time so you don't have to do it again, right? <laughs> Just clean up your glove like that. See, and you can see it's it's getting in there, it's packing in there. When you see it start to come out the other end, then you know you're you're doing a good job. But just keep on keep on trying to force it in there. This way actually looks pretty good, but you have to get a big glove on there. Is making a big mess, and we will put some on the outside too. You don't really have to put it on the outside because we'll before we put it in. And you want to rotate the the bearing a little bit sometimes just to work it around there. All right, so after this, uh, so I'm just gonna speed it up, and then uh, and we're gonna do this for both of the bearings. They're they're the same bearings. You can interchange them. Don't. Don't worry about mixing them up or anything. No. All right, I'll speed it up right now. Okay, so I've gone ahead and packed one of the bearings, and the other one is just is is dry. So you can see there's a big difference. Um, I don't really want to touch it; it's kind of greasy. <laughs> but you can see there's it's starting to come out the other end right there. Um, so you just gotta make that one look like that one there. Okay, so Hades Mike is done uh, baking his uh, his um, his cup. Well, I just took one of them out for now. I'm gonna put that down there and make sure you wear some mittens or something. Um, so what I'm gonna and I've frozen the other one. Oh yeah, that's hot. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Put, oh, that's a lot of grease. I'm gonna put some grease around here. Ooh, it's so hot. <laughs> okay, just try to carefully put grease on. Okay, 
it's so hot. Okay, let me my hand real quick. Hopefully this does the trick. Right, so we got the hot cup and the the fr freezing race. Oh, there okay, There we go. It just slipped right in. Perfect. I'm gonna press on it a little bit. Okay, maybe we don't even need to put grease. It just it went in there like no problem. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get the other one, and then uh, and we're gonna do the same thing. So I'll just make sure I clean up this area a little bit. So I got where to put it. Uh, make sure I don't forget my oven mitt here. Okay, I got our hot cup right here, and then there's our race right here. And hopefully, I'm not gonna put any grease this time. Hopefully, it just slides right in. Okay, get it in there straight. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna. All right, that's in there. So, so now, now all we gotta do is uh, just wait for it to cool down, and then it should be. They should be like pretty much locked in place. So, so there you go. That is the easy way to get it in there and to make sure it's all the way down. And it looks like it's the, looks like it's all the way to the bottom. Um, but to double check, just go get a screwdriver, like a small screwdriver, of some sort, and get a, get a small flathead screwdriver and just kind of press on it. Pretty sure it's flat there though. It just kind of just went down there. And just try not to try not to scratch the race. The races are pretty tough though. They're made out of steel. So okay, yeah, no, that looks good. Okay, so there you go. So that's how you install the. Uh, that's the easy way. Easy way to install the uh, the outer races onto the uh, the headset cups. Um, how you get? How you're gonna get them out? I don't know. <laughs> um, you're probably gonna have to cut them out, or probably use a screwdriver to pry them out, maybe. But you'll definitely damage you'll you'll damage the cup. So hopefully these last the life of the bike. So, or you just wind up buying a new set. You know, for 50 bucks, I don't think it's that bad a deal. Um, all right, so we're just gonna let that cool down, and then we're gonna continue repacking our bearings. So I'm just gonna basically I'm just gonna make this one look like that one, and then and then we'll be ready to install the bearings onto the bike. So. The preparation will be done so um yeah so i don't know so i don't know how easy it would have been to install it without heating it up but just just in case you know just to make sure just to make sure uh, i i uh, froze the bearing and then i heated up the uh the cup and it worked like a charm um, it's aluminum so it expands a lot you know the the race probably won't shrink too much it's steel so um, it doesn't change shape as fast, but as you saw, I pretty much was able to just drop it in there and then it just stayed in there. So, uh, we'll, when it cools down, we'll see if we can actually pick it out, but I don't think we can. Uh, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> so anyway, so that, that's, that's the surefire easy way to do it is to put it in a little oven and heat it up or get a, uh, heat gun and heat it up. But uh, the oven is best because, it, you know, it'll be more uniform. It's a really small part too, so it fit in my little oven like perfect. I just put it in there for like 10-15 minutes and then I put the bearing in the freezer, so for about 10 or 15 minutes. And it, and it worked like a charm. Uh, uh, that worked That worked really good. I don't know how it would have been if we didn't do that, because um, in the video it looked like they, they did it hell easy, but those are actually supposed to be kind of pressed in there, so. Um, and like I mentioned, I have no idea how we're going to get those out now. <laughs> You're probably going to have to cut them out or something. Um, or, or yeah, you probably heat it up and it might just fall out. I don't know. But after a while, they'll probably get stuck in there too. All right. Here's my go. All right. There it is. Uh, so they're all done. Um, so uh, also, I didn't get it on video, but you can also um, you can put the grease in from the other side too. You don't have to use the wide side of it. It's perfectly fine doing it the other way, and it works both ways. You can do it this way, or you can just dab it in with your finger. Um, and yeah, make sure you wear gloves. It's it's really freaking messy, man. I've already got it on the floor right there. All right, so uh, let's go install these in the bike. So now now they're prepped and ready to be installed. Um, here's the cup. They're nice and cool now. I don't think they'll come off very easily. All right, so after we install it in the head, um, we will we will grease the races. So I don't think you really have to, but um, 
it's a good idea. In the Sauron video, they showed them greasing it too, so we'll do that. Alright, so let's go move on to the bike.